The Lulberts, that's our word, brought to you by our unpaid sponsor, Zomia One and Sovereign Tech Podcast, the hottest tech tips and the hottest takes on movies. And this podcast is covered by a Creative Commons Zero license. No rights reserved, but all mice reserved. And I am your host, Jim Jesus, and today we are with Jeremy Hasmatter. How are you doing, man? <laughs> I am spectacular, Jim. How are you? I'm I'm fine. I'm just enjoying this fine, fine Negro Modelo, uh, since uh, everybody is on the competition right now, which, by the way, that's our second unofficial sponsor, is Negro Modella. Be sure that next time you're at your favorite Mexican eatery, you ask your waiter, Negra, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We, we have to we have to promote good beer because everybody's talking about this crappy Mexican cerveza that we don't want to mention by name because we probably get might, might get demonetized. Uh, so we're going to talk about Modelo instead, the delicious delicious Modelo that is uh, serving up to us from uh, straight from a bat in in China, <laughs> and, it's, and it's making people run yeah. out of toilet paper, which is understandable because if you ever eat Mexican food, you, you know bathroom. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. So I, I understand. Yeah, mm-hmm. go ahead. I was going to say you're stuck in uh, Chicago. What was it? Yeah, right now I am currently just. I'm in one of the suburbs just north of Chicago, and I'm kind of in a holding pattern here right now because of my new job. But it's uh, it's it's kind of crazy here. Everybody's everybody's you know freaking out over this stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Well, so I started doing a little bit of digging, um, and it's not like I have much else to do because, um, like, they're shutting down hospitals all over the valley, uh, so work sucks right now. Um, doesn't <laughs> really does, doesn't that sit, doesn't that seem a little counterintuitive? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Should, but shouldn't they be trying? Shouldn't they be trying to be build, building more and not shutting the ones the existing ones down? <laughs> yeah, but there's a good reason for that. We'll get into that. So, like, you know, I was digging in, like, what's going on with this thing? Because I remember the H one N one, that was was a much more deadly uh, virus. Like, people that got it were, had a higher risk of dying from it. So, why is this such a big deal when not so not so many people were in, um, we're we're dying from it. Uh, we're dying from Modella versus this one, right? So uh, I was like, "What's going on with that?" And it seems to be like this 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 balancing act, right? Where they kind of consider, well, what's the infection um, probability from this? Like, how 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 contagious is it versus how deadly it is? And the balance is a little bit more with the with the uh, Modella with the Modella stuff. And the reason why is uh, like so it's like it's more contagious than N1H1, but uh, even though it's not as deadly, um, it's more contagious. So they're it's it's more dangerous in that uh, in in that range, and that's why it's that's why it's causing all this concern. Is the infection rate or the contag- contagion rate? I don't know what what the word is exactly. So there's like this this kind of balancing where they're like, okay, this is much more of a threat than N1H1, even though the N1H1 was more deadly, just because you know the the chances of you getting infected by someone who who had an N1H1 is is higher uh, than uh, or is lower than Modelo. So that's pretty much it and the reason why they're they're closing a lot of hospitals and stuff is because look uh you need in order for for me to take care of you right let's say that you're in the hospital and i'm working on the floor with you in order for me to take care of you uh or do things for you i have to use personal equipment or personal ppe personal protective equipment gloves masks gowns that sort of thing right uh depending on what you depending on what you're doing where is all that stuff made China. Guess where we're oh. limiting imports from? China. So every time you take stuff out uh, of the, the clean room or the storage room, you have to check it out and you have to bring back the empty boxes or empty containers to show them that you're not hoarding this stuff or putting it somewhere or, th- or that it's being properly... De- that 
that the that the equipment was actually used before you go get other stuff now it's just a mess um and a lot of places are starting to close down because they're like we don't have supplies to take care of people and since i work work mostly in mental health they're kind of going okay where do we need all this stuff we're going to need this stuff in er's we're going to need this stuff in icu's we're not going to need this stuff at mental health mental health care you know where it's not really being transmitted so they're just sending all these people out in the in the streets great great fucking idea they're just sending all these people out in the streets uh they're transferring orphans out of uh of uh th- those other facilities and stuff it's just like oh my god what the fuck is happening wow yeah it's it's just it's just a giant nightmare See that that I mean that that makes sense unfortunately but as you were saying that I started to cuz my my first thought after like going well that doesn't make any sense at all I started to think okay maybe it does cuz I I had read that there's you know obviously they're having a problem in a lot of places where the the staff is getting infected and you know because they're dealing with people all the time I thought it was a I thought it was more of a you know doctor nurse shortage versus a supply shortage yeah. but the supply the supply shortage makes sense too yeah, I mean, like, there's there's a shortage of, of of that stuff, but at the same time, it's like, what are you gonna do? You need more, but you have less areas for them to work in. So there's like a, this, there's like you know, like a, a pull and pull, a supply and demand effect where it's like, yeah, we need more, but at the same time, like we can't use you in this hospital here because we have to close it down because we don't have the equipment to for you to use to take care of people. So it's like, what the fuck is even happening? <sighs> I don't know. It's just a mess. This this whole thing is a mess. This is why yeah. this is why you drink American craft beer instead of shitty cerveza. <laughs> this is this is true. Uh, so yeah, that that's been sucking. So uh if you if you want to help me out in this time of need, uh my Patreon is back. Uh, I've been doing uh regular content on Patreon now. Hashtag please donate. <laughs> Be sure to use our Amazon affiliate link, et cetera, et cetera. It's like I, I really hate that to beg for money, but geez, it, it's it's getting rough. It's getting kind of rough. I'm not gonna lie. Um, uh, oh, I I don't doubt it, man. I yeah. mean, I I I'm actually at a point. I I just started a new gig a little while ago, and they're now they're talking about threatening to shut us down mm-hmm. too for a while, and uh, that's that's not gonna be good. I mean, I I have some money in reserve, but <laughs> yeah, I was so hoping I. to not. I was I was hoping to not have to use it. I mean, actually, I was really hoping before all this what all the craziness happened. I was kind of hoping to use my reserve money to make a little play in the uh, down markets at the current moment, but that's not going to happen right now. No. Yeah, the, the the market might go down a little bit more, so who knows? Well, well, yeah, I expect that to happen, but I, you know, in the crypto in the crypto markets, it, it reached a point where I was like, all right, I can afford to buy back in now, and then all this hit, and it was like, okay, that's a bad idea. <laughs> let's be respons <laughs> let's be responsible and save that reserve money for right now. Yeah, cr- crypto, I'm not. Uh, I'm out. I'm completely out of crypto right now. Um, oh, really? We should probably talk about that a little bit later on. But yeah, we should talk about Modelo first because that's what everybody wants to talk about. It's shitty Supreme oh, Cerveza. Yeah. But yeah, j- this whole thing has just been a giant nightmare. Um, but, but what's interesting is I keep hearing all these kind of like... Um, we should, well, we should, yeah, we should talk about that as well. But I keep, like, I keep hearing that like everybody's making a run for toilet paper too and hand sanitizer and then i go to my local store and it's like oh there's this giant wall of toilet paper and water and hand sanitizer okay well Mm. it does it does the it does depend because i've seen a lot i've because unlike unlike you i've still refused to get off of facebook altogether uh i've been I, i stayed away from it for a while but i still check in every now and then and i see all the posts and i see the extremes on both sides the people who are freaking out and saying you know you need to do this or we're all gonna die essentially and then the other people who think you know the other the other end of that spectrum are the people that cons- the conspiracy <sighs> i'm gonna use the word nut i usually try to stay away from that but some of these people are just insane and just like claiming that it's all a hoax it doesn't exist and all this stuff and oh i went to my local store and it's all there it's like okay well have you been to other people's stores yeah, because yeah. i'm I not saying it doesn't have happen. yeah i'm not saying it doesn't happen i'm just saying that i oh no i did yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i i, I, I was i wasn't suggesting <laughs> I, I i know you're a little more logical than that but yeah some of the people i was just like listen man i'm in chicago right now i went to four different walmarts it's a madhouse and this and they are wiped out it's just it's you know i've never in my 40 what am i 43 now oh god i'm getting old okay in my 43 years on this planet 
I have never seen a situation like this. Even, I mean, I lived on Long Island through Hurricane Sandy, and that got crazy. But it, even that wasn't this bad. Yeah. Like it's just it's it's people and and the the TP thing is just hysterical. Like, that's the first <laughs> thing everybody went for. I, so, I like uh, it. It's still I still I still don't get it. I mean I get the idea if you think you're going to be quarantined for a couple of weeks. Okay, I understand the thought of well we need the basic supplies so let's get some of this. But for everybody to race out even before there's even a threat of quarantine on themselves to run out and just buy every roll of toilet paper they can find like seriously man what are you going to do with all that stuff in fact one of my favorite i think one of my favorite memes i've seen so far that have come out of this was there's one where there's a family sitting at dinner and the the little kid asks mommy why don't we have any food and the mom just yells at the kid just shut up susan and eat your toilet paper <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not going to say that like this is going to be a Y2K thing because I. I don't think. I don't think it's going to be. I mean, I think there's going to be ramifications. Obviously, this is not like bullshit like Y2K was. But at the same time, I'm just wondering all these people stocking up on just this this stuff where they don't need to stock up on. I'm just like, we're going to get to this point where like because I had a I had a friend who told me because I didn't know him at the time. That, that the Y2K was going on, but he told me that his parents were like prepping for, for Y2K and they were all into that Jack Van Imp guy who was going like, this is the end times. Y2K is the sign of the, of the, uh, of the, of the apocalypse. And they did the whole stocking. And, and when Y2K happened, they were in like their, their basement, like, Oh my God, this is going to happen. And it just didn't happen. And they were like, all right, I guess we're eating canned beans for the next three months. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is this is what's gonna happen. It's like, well, we don't need tissues. Just use the toilet paper. Oh, you need to write a note down. Just use the toilet paper. We have more than enough yeah. of this stuff. It's just like, okay, whatever, guys. Um, learn how to prep, I guess. <laughs> learn to prep. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a, it's amazing. These well, these it's funny though too because that's another that's another popular meme that I guess has gotten shared around a lot is the fact that the ma- the majority of the people that are running around buying all the toilet paper are are usually the same people that ran around making fun of all the preppers and claiming that they were crazy. Mm-hmm. But now these people are out there buying. <laughs> And and the hand sanitizer thing, that's another one. Like I, I'm I, you know, I'm not a scientist or a doctor or anything like that. Maybe you know, because you're in the medical profession a little, you know, more so than I am. And I saw somebody post something about this the other day, and it, it kind of made me think it's like everybody's going out there buying hand sanitizer, which is antibacterial. But isn't the modello a oh. virus? Okay, so if someone's buying antibacterial stuff to fight a virus. That's stupid. Um, but hand sanitizer uh, does work on viruses. The thing that it doesn't work very well on are certain t- types of like fungal strains, like C. diff. Uh, oh, okay. So like viruses, it'll it'll get um, bacteria. It'll get. It, it's kind of. It, it, but at the same time, it's like I'm pretty sure people are bu- stocking up on antibacterial uh, antibiotics too. Um, which drives me nuts because every time someone like gets a cold or something, they're like, oh, I just take some antibiotics. It's like, you idiot. You work in healthcare. You should know that antibiotics doesn't work on viruses. You freaking retard. Um, or I, I guess I can't say that word on YouTube either. I had to break <laughs> that word out. <laughs> but it's like, come on. Like, you, you work in healthcare. You should know this. You're a nurse. You rank higher than me. What are you doing? Um, but anyways... Yeah. Um, well, it, it's I, I I said this earlier today to somebody who is who's complaining about this, and it's it just seems to be yeah. I mean, the first thing that's lost in any one of these situations is usually logic. Mm-hmm. Like that's the that's the first thing to go on both on both extremes of any one of these crises or whatever comes up that freak that freaks a whole bunch of people out. That just like logic just goes right out the window. Yep. <laughs> Case in point, uh, I'm seeing a lot of socialists on Twitter going like, look all these right wingers are mad at Venezuela for running out of toilet paper, but look, we're running out of toilet paper here. And it's like, yeah, but the difference is this took a global pandemic for, for us to run out of stuff. Whereas running out of toilet paper in Venezuela just means it's Tuesday. <laughs> like, like this, <laughs> this, That's this, true. Yeah. This is very different. You, you, you had to wait for a pandemic for this to happen. This, this is like an everyday occurrence in, in any of these, highly socialist uh, regimes um it's so stupid um 
Well, yeah, just like anything, just like anything else, the 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 extremes on both sides use a situation like this to continue to justify their own position, <laughs> because they just use their confirmation bias and run with whatever story they want to. Yeah, and that's what's just that's what's driven me. Like I, I I don't I don't fear Modelo as much as I fear the response to Modelo. Yeah, the, both was... by the gut, both by the governments and the crazy people out there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, like that. That's that, that's the common thing that I've been talking to with everybody. It's like I don't really care about the Modelo stuff. It's 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 more the response to it from from, from people freaking out in the lines. Like, dude, I just I just need to wipe my ass. And yeah, we're we're just we're just making this big fuss out of toilet paper that you don't need. And uh, this is this is why we need price gouging because you know what? I'm willing to pay an extra five bucks for toilet paper if it's going to keep all the the idiots from freaking out and stockpiling this stuff so that you know i have to like install a bidet in my house because you guys are being stupid or well yeah i mean a shower every time i have a number two which that's gross <laughs> but hey if I'm well you know what well, wa- waffle stomping is always an option, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I saw this meme going around of, uh, and it's got like you know like when you're out of toilet paper and your and your little kitten walks into the room and it shows oh, Th- and it shows Thanos going, "I'm sorry, little one." <laughs> I, oh, that's. I, I saw a va- I saw a variation of that where somebody had an actual picture of a cat lying on its back, looking with this horrified look on its face, and there's the hand coming out and grabbing, and just the you know the 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 what you might call it the, ca- the, the, the the caption was just like when there's no other options, <laughs> and the and the poor cat just had this look like oh my god what are you doing? Ah, uh, that's great. <laughs> Uh, the other one I saw was like, why is everyone worried about running out of toilet paper? And it shows like a guy like using a, um, what are the a thin blue line flag? <laughs> uh, That's a good one too. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Uh, uh, but yeah. Well, so. as, as, well, I was just gonna say as you, as usual though, the, you know, despite all the, panic and people freaking out and i mean i know people that uh, you know that i'm very close with that are that are on both sides of the extreme on this and i just kind of shake my head at them but as as usual the the memers are winning this whole war um because some of the memes that have come out of this i mean i got out of the meme game a while ago it's been quite a while since i've been making any on a regular basis but i'm just like man some of this stuff is just really funny i mean i know it's i know it's serious for some you know obviously there's certain percentages of the population and personally i mean i said this to somebody else earlier today that you know me myself personally i'm not super worried because honestly I can't even remember even having any strain of the flu in my life. And I may not be correct about that. I may have had it when I was younger and I just don't remember. But I like for some reason, I seem to have a pretty good immune system, despite the fact that I have tri- I have treated my body like a r- rundown amusement park ride for my almost my entire life. <laughs> but, you know, personally, like my one of my daughters and my ex, despite how nuts she drives me sometimes, both fall into the you know at risk category because they're both immunocompromised to begin with so i do have worry about that but overall it's just like man i wish people would just sit back and think for a second just a second before they start running off on either side of the extreme and just going crazy about this yeah i mean it's important to stock up on things in these kinds of times like you should go and get dry beans dry rice get canned foods but just don't like go crazy with it you just get a little bit here a little bit there and when you go to the store just buy a little extra than normal just you don't need to stock up on you know 10 years worth of stuff because there are people who who need that stuff too and on top of that we're not allowed to we're we like me and the mouse in my pocket are not allowed to you know price gouge legally so in a lot of areas so you kind of got to you got to be rational about this but when we're dealing with people especially the general public we're not talking about rationality we're talking about emotions and what gets more people to talk you know what what gets more viewers onto your tv program that's selling the news fear everything's terrible but stay you know stay tuned out to the commercial break to hear more and what you can do to stay alive um i'm trying yeah. to get like the list of things that are all closed and there was a website that I found, and I can't, f- <laughs> I can't find it now. Um, 
Oh, jeez, I can't find it now. Well, I, 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 I know, I know, ev- pretty much every major sporting, uh, what you call it, organization has shut down for the time being. You know, most schools are closing down, and you know. I and I saw something this morning. They're talking about you know, especially in some of these areas, usually tending towards more of the bigger cities and stuff. You know, they're talking about shutting down gyms and stuff like that. Which, again, from the perspective of like you were saying earlier, that this the Modelo seems to be more contagious than some of these other major threats that we've supposedly faced okay. in the past couple of decades. Uh, what should we call it? Like, I understand that, but for somebody like me, it's kind of a pain in the butt because I live at a Planet Fitness most of the time. That's where I get my showers, you know? (laughs) They shut those things down. It's going to be kind of inconvenient for me. Yeah. Everybody else can hide in their house. If if I'm supposed to go into quarantine somewhere, I'm literally going to be locked in a van. (laughs) Down by the river where everyone's going to be dumping their feces. Exactly. Nice. (laughs) Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So I have a list of things called, is it canceled yet? So the top of the list is 2012. Okay. So hold on. First, we have to kind of go through the, um, what do they call it? The key. <laughs> so if it's yes, that means that in-person gatherings are canceled. No means it's still on. And uh-oh means it's not canceled yet, but it's not looking good. So 2012. Uh-oh. D- Donald Trump. Uh oh. Disneyland. Yes. So yeah. Um. I actually had um. My, my parents were actually going to come out and visit. Uh. Because I live here in Vegas, they were going to come visit here and then go visit my sister who lives in California. And their plan was to go like, okay, we're going to have some fun in Vegas, go to a show, eat some buffets, and they had this whole trip planned out. They had the rooms booked and everything, and then they were going to go out to there and they were going to go to Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm. And everything just shut down and then they were like okay well we'll just still go and visit you guys and then kansas was like you know if uh you leave this the state and you go to a place that's that has a high uh has a high count or whatever of, of infected people you will be when you come back you'll be on two weeks isolation so california was one of those states nevada was starting to fill in like like it was going to go that direction too and they were like so they're like we're out we're completely out uh and disneyland was definitely on the list wwdc i have no idea what that means the democratic primary uh-oh uh, by the way, the Democratic Party, they're still saying that they're going to do it. By all means, yes. Everybody get Yes, please, please. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> all you Democratic voters, go ahead and do that. Uh, I mean, it's not, not that it matters anyway. It looks like they're going to choose Biden. and Biden is just going more and more insane by the day. <laughs> uh, I, I, I hope that he, that he chooses uh, Corn Pop as his running mate. That'd be great. Um, let's see. Boston. Wait a minute. Ma- I, 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 I don't know that reference. Which one is oh. Corn Pop? <laughs> so Biden was that doing the speech. It was also, I think it was also the same speech where he talked about like the, the light hairs, you know, the, the white hairs on the leg. Do you hear about that gap? Okay. Thing? No, I've, I, you know, there's so many of them <laughs> and I, I have only just recently, oh Jesus, Jim, you're coughing over there. You've, oh. you've got the Modella, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I, I'm going to wash it down with some sips. <laughs> uh do was a great so- game okay i'm feeling better now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go yeah, there, there's so many biden gaffes and i have only once again and recently started to pay attention a little bit more attention to the news cycles and stuff like that so i miss a lot of them so i don't even think i know that one at all <laughs> <laughs> yeah so corn pop um was a guy who went to one of the pool that biden used to be a lifeguard at in the 60s and uh, he was he he ran a gang, and uh, Biden was like, "Hey, you weren't you had pomade or whatever? Get off the lifeboard, lifeboard, uh, the lifeboard, get off the diving board," because <laughs> he was the lifeguard. There we go. And he told the story about how like he was threatening him with rusted uh, straight razors in the parking lot, and uh, yeah. Anyways, um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody was just like corn pop. What the fuck? The fucking name is corn pop. Anyways, so the Boston Marathon. Uh oh, Microsoft build canceled. Uh, Broadway, the show must not go on. <laughs> March Madness is still a go, which is interesting. Oh, uh, I heard yesterday they had canceled that too. Oh no no, I'm Maybe. sorry, it's red, so it's it's yes, it's canceled. Sorry, yes, it's canceled. 
I can't, they have it backwards. They should really fix this. The SATs. Uh oh. So yeah, uh, they're canceling school, but uh, the the SATs are still a go. The NBA season canceled. NHL canceled. Fuck. Um, Major League Baseball canceled. Bull markets. <laughs> yes, canceled. <laughs> <laughs> E3 canceled. Public gatherings canceled. Uh, uh, New York City, LA, and many more. Also, uh, I, uh, one of my uh, one of my friends, uh, Mr. Dapperton, got nine tickets to go see Guar, and he was so stoked that he was going to finally see Guar. Canceled, and he was so fucking mad. <laughs> Basically, all the big music tours. Uh oh. Um, Houston rodeo canceled. Las Vegas casino buffets, and also I would add. All the shows have been canceled as well. Uh, Pope Francis' public appearances canceled. Bernie and Biden rallies canceled. No, 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 no. The show must go on, guys. Come on. The show must go on. <laughs> Google I.O. canceled. South by Southwest canceled. Minecraft Fest canceled. Burning Man. No, that's still going. By all means, go to Burning Man, guys. Go all to Burning Man. Get, get, the, co- I'm, I'm, I'm- get the Modellos. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty. Sh- I'm pretty sure that the major contingent that goes to Burning Man has ingested and done so many things over the years that they're impervious to Modelo <laughs> at this point. Un- unfortunately, but <laughs> their immune system is just effed anyway. New York Public Library events canceled. Uh, Coachella canceled. Harvard University canceled. The 2020 Olympics. Uh, Japan said they're doing it. They said they don't care. They're doing it anyway. TED conference. And have, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. And hasn't Japan had one of the worst? I, I could I could have swore I read that Japan actually got affected by this a lot worse than some other places. Well, they're right next to China, so maybe. Well, no, but not even not even just from their proximity. It was something about the population there because it is a very homogenous popula- population for the most oh, part. Yeah. There was so, there was something about a combination of that and their initial reaction to it where they were actually getting hit hard like statistically they were getting hit harder with uh, not as crazy as like italy i think which is as as far as i know have been taking like the brunt of this italy's gotten hit worse than uh pretty much anywhere else i think yeah but they, I thought, they, they pretty I, much quarantined the whole country well at this yeah. point yeah because they just got slammed but i i could have swore maybe i'm wrong i thought japan was uh up there too but yeah, uh, maybe they're maybe they think that it's so far. Away. When isn't it Winter Olympics anyway? Is it Winter? Olympics? I don't know what we're up to. I don't even know what we're up to at this point. I, I hope it's Winter. I, I love the Winter Olympics. That's the one Olympics that I will watch, and it's it's only for two sports: hockey and uh, ice curling, which is the only time I can ever watch ice curling. Fuck, fucking love ice curling. Um, see, Ted. See, I actually- I actually like Lu- I what is it the the luge and the bobsled I like watching those oh, are those fun. are fun too but man ice I, ice curling like it looks like the dumbest sport ever but once you start watching it you're like this is the greatest game ever I want to play this right now <laughs> still got to get around to trying it so the TED conference which this this could be good uh, that it's canceled or that it's been delayed TED sucks can we just admit that TED is like the worst thing ever. Like, when it first came out, they had some interesting speakers talking about interesting things. Now it's just like, let me tell you how to wash your hands. Feminism is going to save America. Like, yeah. My face. I, I, I caught a couple of the early ones that were, like, you know, that were that were pretty good. But, yeah, I think they've gone downhill. Isn't there Wasn't there a spinoff, though, that actually is still not so bad with TEDx? Oh, isn't no. TEDx, TEDx is f- even worse. TEDx is when you get, like, all the cranks coming out of the woodwork. Uh, you had Peter Joseph and Jock Fresco doing talks. Um, Anita Sarkeesian did her talk on there. Um, oh, well, then never mind. <laughs> yeah, because they're, they're, it's not done by Ted proper. It's done by local... Like, anybody can do a TEDx. Anybody can do a TEDx and put whatever they want on there. It's only, like, after they say something terrible, um, like, you'll get, like, all these cranks talking about, like, oh, yeah, you should turn blue and pop a Smurf with um, colloidal silver because it'll save your life. That's when they go. Uh, you can't have put our name on that crap. Then they'll, they'll take it down. <laughs> but the damage is already done. <coughs> oh, hold on. Where's my boomer sips? <laughs> <sighs> Quake was a great game. Um, it's, it's only after after that happens that they'll take it down. But people have already downloaded the video and mirrored it everywhere, so it's pointless. GDC. I don't know what that is. Canceled. Google Reader. Huh. 
I don't even know what that is. Like, do they just cancel the app for it? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I never heard of that. Yeah. PAX West. Nope. Still going. Uh, they're still going to do it. Chris Matthews. Yes. <laughs> canceled. Uh, Seattle Comic Con. Canceled. San Diego Comic Con. Uh, still a go, which I guess is a good thing because maybe this will finally let all that the hot air out of out of that uh, out of that bubble of all the stupid marvel movies god i hate those now uh microsoft ignite Uh uh-oh free samples at costco canceled nab show canceled that green coat from amazon canceled twitchcon amsterdam canceled um and it goes on and on and on and on and on facebook fate canceled (laughs) code for america summit Hugs, okay. Hugs, uh oh. Fist bumps, no, they're so good. Uh, Internet Freedom Festival, Disneyland launch event, uh, all this stuff is just canceled, canceled, canceled. And what's interesting is I do a um, a, a, a live stream show where we talk about movies. And guess what? All of the major films uh, have been pushed back because of this too. Because a lot of theaters are closing. AMC announced that they're only going to be doing fifty percent occupancy. So if they have like a hundred seats in, in an auditorium and they sell 50. They consider that clo- sold out. They're not going to do any more than that. So we're just going like, okay, so no new movies are coming out for the next, who knows how long, what are we going to talk about? Uh, I guess we're going to have to dig into the archives and watch old movies, TV shows, but a lot of TV shows are getting canceled down too. <laughs> Cause you know, the production's, um, you know the the filming of them they're getting canceled so if if it keeps going on for too long we're not going to have anything to talk about at all unless it's old stuff the apocalypse uh, has been canceled so that's i guess that's a positive note <laughs> rainforest con cube con i don't know what any of this stuff is new york auto show i know what that is cisco live us well it's probably going to be it's oh be see You just mentioned the New York Auto Show, and I just realized that if this doesn't get all sorted out sometime soon, something shortly after that in in Brooklyn's got to get canceled. That's going to make me very sad. The hot, yes, the hot sauce expo that that I almost died at last year. I was going to try my best to make. My two friends, my my other friend, my friend Jason, who who who, do, who did almost die with me, um, him him and his girlfriend are going again. I was going to try to make it back with them too, but they're probably going to cancel that too. <laughs> Bummer. I got some uh, Carolina Reapers and some uh, Ghost Peppers growing on my patio, so hopefully, these, Ooh, hopefully they survive nice. this year because they didn't survive last year. Ripping pepperoni, guys, I miss you every day. I miss you. Think about you. <laughs> Baron almost died because uh, we. I ordered some. Uh, <laughs> I got some pods, some Carolina Reaper pods from Pucker Butt Company from Smoky Dead Curry himself, and uh, we did a live stream where we ate them at uh, Aces and Nails and. We almost died. He almost died. Uh, I almost vomited. But, uh, he, yeah. Oh, man, I missed that one. <laughs> well, it's still up. If you just look just look for the Carolina oh. Reaper pod on my YouTube channel, I'll, you'll see it. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to check that out. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. That was really rough. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever tried to eat a Reaper. I know I, I've eaten a ghost. I know I've eaten a ghost pepper. But I don't think I've I don't think I've gone to Reaper yet. <laughs> yeah. And those were fresh pods; those weren't dried or anything. So, oof, yikes, big yikes. But uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, <laughs> speaking of stocking stuff and 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 uh, drinking delicious, delicious Negro Modella, remember to ask your your waitress, Negro, please. Um, <laughs> how how was the van life? <laughs> Oh, well, aside from all that, the van life is pretty good. Mm-hmm. I have, you know, since the last time we talked, we I've kind of upgraded, like I kind of mentioned earlier. I finally decided to pick up another working gig for a while, and they gave me a Sprint. Well, originally they gave me a Dodge Pro, uh, the Ram Promaster, which I kind of like a little bit more, but whatever, I'm getting used to it. Now they've given me a, a Mercedes Sprinter van, but they basically gave me a Sprinter van to use for work and to live out of. And so I've been able to upgrade my space because I went from living in a tiny little Honda Element to now having a giant Sprinter van to keep all my stuff in. So it's been kind of nice. I have I've seen more of the country now. I finally made it to Texas a bunch of times. I had some fun down there. And I think now I've been in every I think I figured it out. I, I think I've been in every state 
I don't know what the line is, but like basically for you know if you go down north North Dakota, South Dakota, what is it? Uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, that whole that whole strip. Mm-hmm. I've been in or I, Iowa. I forgot Iowa. Um, I've been in every everybody every forgets state about Iowa. There. Don't worry about it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Until the primary season happens, yeah, yeah. I watched Macaulay. <laughs> I mean, really, what's I've now to been remember every state. about Des Moines, really. <laughs> it's true. The only time I've ever been in Des Moines, I slept in a Planet Fitness parking lot, so I don't know much about it. Uh, it didn't seem very exciting, but yeah, but I've stayed east of that line except. For for North Dakota. So I'm slowly making my way across the country. Hopefully I will finally get out west sometime soon. Okay. But it's uh, you know, it's been good. I I, I still miss my kids, but unfortunately I well that was the one thing that I knew was going to happen. I kept saying it to people and they thought I was crazy, but my kids have been going through this phase where they're starting to get a little older, but they're still not really great at expressing their feelings all the time. Whoa. Hold up. So You're, they kind of got on, mad on. at me a while ago, but they couldn't. Hold on. Or... Hold on. Hold on. You're roboting just for a second. Take a breather. <sighs> Breathe in that delicious Modella. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> okay. You're roboting. I don't know where I live. Oh, I, I don't yeah. know. There's any. Anyway. There you missed your kids. Yeah, I was saying, I you know, I miss my kids being out on the road, but they were going through a phase where they were mad at me about stuff, but couldn't or wouldn't tell me why. So they didn't really want to see me when I was in town anyway. Mm-hmm. So I kind of disappeared, you know, I kind of went away for a while. And I kept saying, I know a situation where it's going to make it hard for me to get back to New York. That's when they're going to want to. And sure enough, as soon as I picked up this this gig, all of a sudden I started getting messages from them constantly. Oh, we miss you. Can you come back to New York now? And it's like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> timing, children, timing. <laughs> Teenagers, but... are, they, are they at that point yet or? Pre-teens? No, no, they're, okay. they're still, yeah, they're, they're, they're still only eight. Okay. Um, well, it's been but... a long time since I talked to you, so like I just assume. No, I know. Because <laughs> I forgot about Tom Woods' kids, and the next thing you know, like he's talking about, like, oh, she, my daughter's going to prom. I'm like, oh, I'm a million years old now. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I so remember no, no, him talking not... about like when they were born, and I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah, but there are there's like five or six of them though, so they are spread yeah. out a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, except because um, I've only been in the ANCAP libertarian circles for like 15 years. So I remember when he was talking about them when they were like three, four, five, and now uh, they're like yeah, I going to prom, and I'm like, oh, my God. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, but other other than that, other than the thing with the kids, which like I said, the, the communication between them and I has been getting better, so that's good. But other than that, it's, you know, it's been great. I still enjoy it. That's why I kind of took this gig because it was – I kind of looked at it like – I had been spending the past year and a half plus on the road having fun, like going around and getting to visit different people and getting to hang out in different places, but I wasn't making any money. And when the opportunity arose for me to basically do the same thing I had been doing and now get paid for it, I was like, um, where do I sign? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, so it's good. I mean, I don't even have to pay for gas anymore unless I want to take personal trips somewhere. Uh, you know, I literally just have to pay for my own food and that's it. <laughs> it's nice. great. Yeah. I, I was going to complain about gas prices, but then, uh, I've got gas this morning and I was like, okay, cause I have to fill my car with premium cause it's one of the, it's a, it's a sports car. Um, oh, well, I, I, I now have a diesel vehicle, so now I have to deal with that, but <laughs> which is even more expensive, but how, 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 how expensive are the, what are the prices out in Vegas these days? It, I, I went to fill up my gas and it was three even or three even a gallon or well, three even and 0.99, whatever. Yeah. Or 0.9 or whatever. And I was like, really? That's it? That's it for gas? I was just, I was just paying like three fifty a gallon, <laughs> like probably like two weeks ago. And it just went down 50 yeah. cents. And that that's mostly because uh, OPEC's having a little tissy fit with Russia. Yeah, Which, they are. And isn't the, the then the price of the didn't the price of a barrel drop I thought I saw it drop down to like something like 32. Yeah. We, like I probably that. won't feel that drop for a while. But when it does. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> well, see, I only I only deal with uh, 
<laughs> I usually only deal with like the regular or unleaded or now like diesel, but like I was I was thrilled even before all this craziness happened. When I started going down south a lot, I ended up down in the south end and like Texas and Mississippi and stuff like that, and the prices were already sub two dollars. Yeah, it was wonderful. You know, like I think I, I think I saw it che- as cheap as a buck seventy five down in Texas the last time I was there. Yeah, I mean, like I, I, when I had my my Ford Fusion before I got in my accident, it was nice. Just Oh, I just always look at the lowest price gasoline now. It's just like, oh, I just get that because it doesn't matter because, you know, it's a four banger stick shift. Who cares? You know, it's a, an economy car. But then uh, after I got my accident and I was, I got that sweet deal on a, on an Eclipse, I was just like, all right, let's, let's, let's oh, I have to have premium because it's a V6. Oh, uh, okay. Well, <laughs> all right. I, it's still stick shift. I can save on gas. And then it's just like. Yeah, it'll save on gas, but uh, guess what? It's it's almost four dollars now. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll just be uh, conscious where I go. But see, now I can be even more. Now I have even more reason to be conscious about where I go because uh, you know because Modelo because of the Kofifi virus. Uh, so uh, <laughs> we're good on that. Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I I heard another conspiracy on Twitter because Twitter is just rife with just nonsense. That's why I love it. Was uh, someone was going like, "I'm not buying this this Modella thing," and the reason why I'm not buying this Modella thing is how come all these celebrities are getting it when they have bodyguards? And I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's right. Bodyguards do protect you from viruses." Oh no, wait. <laughs> wait, that's not how that works at all. In fact, having bodyguards around you all the time would put you at more at risk because they're going to go visit, they're going to go see other people and then bring them to you. Oh, and on top of that, what do celebrities do more than anyone else? They travel. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, just just stupid nonsense. Everybody's stupid. I hate stupid people. Yeah, that's why. Well, it's part part of the reason I enjoy living in a van in, in down by the river because I I get to avoid people most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> but soon everybody will live in a van down by the river after after everyone's sick, and uh, you know, will The Walking Dead becomes uh, a documentary. <laughs> I think it already kind of has, except except instead of looking for brains, they're all looking for toilet paper. <laughs> they're, they're still zombies and and voters. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, yeah. But yeah, van, van life is good, man. I I enjoy it. I I still encourage people, you know, once they get over this panic or once they get out of quarantine or whatever the situation is, mm-hmm. I still encourage people to try it at some point if they can. I was racking my brain trying to figure out what we were what I was going to talk about in the next twenty five episodes, but at the rate we've been at uh, doing Lobert's episodes because everybody's been so busy lately, but now everybody has a bunch of free time for some reason. I'm trying to figure out like what conspiracy theory I should tackle next uh, or that's kind of popular. So, I mean, so far we did the JFK assassination. Uh, I'm not going to do 9-11 because that's just a complete waste of time now. Um, We did uh, the Federal Reserve conspiracy theories, which, by the way, there's a person going around saying that like uh, linking to that podcast uh, that I did about the Federal Reserve going, ha ha. Jim is defending and likes the the Federal Reserve. Here's the proof of it. Like, look at him, like, loving the Federal Reserve. And then people will listen to it and go, that's, he's literally saying in this, in this podcast that he hates the Federal Reserve and thinks it needs to be abolished, bro. What are you even doing? Um, (laughs) (coughs) Let's see. What are the ones that I do? Uh, We did Monsanto and GMOs. Um... That we did like the Illuminati and the Freemasonry stuff and the Denver airport. So I'm just kind of like, what, what other things, what, what other one should I touch on? I mean, besides nine 11, I think we covered a lot of it. So I don't, I don't know. Am I missing something here? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm trying to rack my brain right now and I'm, I mean, I'm sure there are, but I can't think of any at the moment. And yeah, maybe anti-vax, maybe I should do anti-vax. Cause that's, seems to be that's it seems to be a thing even right now because everybody's freaking out about this whole thing going like oh if they give you a a vaccine for this you know don't take it it's like huh no that's what why (laughs) well you don't you you don't want those little nanobots injected into you do you jim well (laughs) if it means that i'm going to be in a bad movie like bloodshot then yeah i I, maybe i don't want to take that (laughs) 
Oh gosh. Did, have you have you seen this the trailers for this movie? Uh, no, I don't Vin even Diesel? No. No, I haven't. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I mean, like so I saw okay, so there was two movies that I, I was going to go see this week for the show and it's probably going to be the last two movies being released for quite a while. Yeesh. Uh which was The Hunt and uh Bloodshot. And I was like, okay, The Hunt looks like it's going to be a complete garbage show where it's going to paint like conservatives and Trump's voters as like awful people. And, you know, the liberals are so much smarter than us civil, uh, uncivilized Trump supporters. Well, I'm not a Trump supporter, but whatever. You get the idea. Uh, and I was yeah. like, this is just going to be a, just a left wing shit show. And then Bloodsport, which actually looked kind of neat because, you know, it was kind of like based on a comic book and it's about Vin Diesel and he has like these little nanobots who like that constantly repair him and make him have superpowers and stuff. Um, and I was like, okay, so this looks kind of interesting. And that turned out to be like the exact opposite. The hunt was actually a really good piece of biting satire where it not only made fun of like, you know, those Trump supporters, but it also made fun of liberals even more. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, this is amazing. And it's ba the basic message of this is like, don't get wrapped up in all these stupid dumb conspiracy theories because it may it may push them to make it real um uh and also the left is just as just as bad if not worse than the people they try to demonize and the fact that they're demonizing them makes them worse uh in every possible way and i was like that's i I've, that's a really good message i fucking love it and what is it betty gelsby who was in glow she did a great job in that uh and then Bloodsport look, uh, Bloodshot looked like it was like a movie that should have came out in like 2004. Uh, the effects looked like they came out in 2004. Um, the, the you know it's it's a dumb action movie like you would see Vin Diesel playing like Triple X and stuff, except it had no originality whatsoever. It had no nothing new. It was just a tired old thing that we've seen a billion times, and it's just awful and the, the cgi was bad and the cinematography was bad and the acting was bad and everything was bad and it, it just made me so angry just being in that theater just going like fuck when is this garbage pile gonna end but wow. apparently it's all gonna end <laughs> all the movies yeah. are gonna end <laughs> it's like how did we get from like last year which was like one of the greatest years in film that we've had in such a long time to just you know the best thing we've gotten so far was what um the Gentleman, which The Gentleman was great, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, those have been the high. Oh, Invisible Man was good, too. I mean, those are the highlights oh, of this year. Darn it. Oh, I'm losing you again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but, yeah, like, uh, how, did, how did we go from, like, a year where we had, like, I, I had so many good movies on my list that, like, I had to knock off amazing movies from my honorable mentions list uh, just to make room for all the good stuff to, uh, you know... Sonic the Hedgehog being one of the greatest films of the year so far. I, mean, I don't know what's going on. It's just terrible. Everything is just awful. Uh, uh, but anyways, uh, so where can we... Are you still doing your podcasts or what's going on? Oh, I haven't done a podcast in forever. I mean, the the, the Seeds has been on hiatus forever. Uh, I haven't done my own, you know, I haven't done any like solo episodes in a while. I did join the Liberty Forge guys last year and then we promptly put out like one or two episodes and then all three of us got insanely busy with our lives and had to stop altogether. <laughs> yeah. So I've only recently resurfaced on Facebook a little bit just because I kept getting a lot of messages from different people going, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. Where are you? Because I was doing those, vi you know, I was doing those vlogs for a while and I've even stopped doing those just because i was like i just need to get away from everybody for a while <laughs> yeah so. i miss dave man oh I'm dave not gonna lie. i'm not i miss dave we, we need more dave in our lives come back he, i mean i know he i know he's still alive <laughs> yeah i know he is too. because he po he pops up on the we actually still have a seeds of liberty telegram group which has been largely defunct for quite a while mm -hmm. but he'll still pop in with messages every while i actually spoke to him oh when the heck was it sometime late last year when i was actually on my way like past where he lives in alabama and was going to try to actually meet up with him in person for the first time <laughs> and we weren't able, actually able to connect and then when i got to florida i found out that 
he was a little crazier than I realized because uh, some of the stories I heard. Yeah. And I was like, oh, maybe it was a good idea. I didn't see Dave. So, <laughs> no, yeah. that's, that's a more of a reason to, to, to meet up with someone if you find out they're crazy. It's like, oh, we'll have to meet you then. <laughs> well, yeah, but not in cra- crazy, crazy in ways that I didn't know it was really going to be safe to be around. Like, uh-huh. you know. Yeah. I, I mean, you, I, I always. Told, I think you told the story last time you were on. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. So that was. That that was that was the last real interaction I've had with Dave, but I mean, he is entertaining. I'll give him that. <laughs> Come back, Dave. Come on, man. We miss you, man. <laughs> we need more of your hot takes. Um, oh God. Oh, I think there's plenty of people that have filled his void. <laughs> yeah, I actually went back and listened to my appearance on on your guys' show, and I was like, man, I fucking miss this show. And I started listening to some of the other old ones too, but they're all gone. Like uh, the 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 RSS feed is just gone, but a lot of those episodes are still up on YouTube, so that's still good. Um, maybe I should post a link. Yeah, I I I I think YouTube is the only place you can get them now because Paulie Poly Gordon was running our which McCall was running our website for was you know running a server for our website mm-hmm. for a while and. That might still be accessible. I haven't even bothered to check, but yeah, ever it's since gone. Dave just sh- ever since Dave shut off the RSS feed without really telling us in advance, it's. I mean, I have every episode on, on one of my hard drives because I'm the one who did all the editing, and I keep saying one of these days I'm going to put them back out there. But I just, I still listen to a decent amount of Liberty esque podcasts. And every time I listen to them, I'm like, oh, there's already so much shit out there. Like, why would I even bother? <laughs> you know, like, I mean, I will say that occasionally, well, not well, actually I mean, more the, than that occasionally. show was pretty like, it's like the Lulberts were pretty evergreen. But even, even though we're talking about uh, Modelo, <laughs> um, yeah, you I mean, the good the good thing is that, like we're not we're omitting the name because of, you know, maybe censorship stuff. But I mean, you could. You could apply that to whatever you know pandemic comes out in the future. Uh, we could, you could still apply that to something like H one N one, but you know it's to a lesser degree. Yeah. So we'd like to kind of try to keep it. things a little bit evergreen. Any anyway, just just talk. You're breaking up. Again. Just talk. Uh, just talk. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll type it out. Just talk. Then. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Anyway, yeah. You can't. Re- I mean, I could still be found. And, uh, you know, these days I'm more about, you know, like I said, I still listen to podcasts, but I don't, one of these days, maybe I'll get back to it. I don't know. I kind of feel I, I, I did my share of it. I had, you know, we had a, we had a three year run with the seeds and, you know, we, you know, you know, you and I both did the fiends for quite a while and I've done some other stuff and it's like, ah, there's plenty of people out there doing it. I'm the, I, for the past couple of years, I've just been more about actually dealing with people in person which is why I part of the reason I went to live on the road and also, you know, t- took this gig now too. It's just like, Hey, if you, if you want to actually hear from me, I post, I still do pay- post on Facebook somewhat regularly and let people know where I'm going to be. So if you happen to check on Facebook and see, I'm coming near your area, hit me up and we'll actually get together in person and have a conversation. Awesome. So, um, I wanted to talk about Bitcoin, but as, but you know what? Let's here. Let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this up. We're gonna talk about Bitcoin for a little bit, and then we'll wrap things up. Because uh, I find I guess I think I basically found a hack. So if if I cut out for any reason, just just like tell me real quickly, and then I'll switch it, and it will it'll seem seamless. It'll seem seamless. But I All guess right. some people hear some stuff on the back end. You can hear me fine right now, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. So. um so there was this guy who runs a YouTube channel called Danny Duchamp, and I'll link his, his thing in there, and I'll post a little note in there. Actually, I'll do it right now while we're talking. Um, who um, He runs a pretty good YouTube channel, and I kind of like him because he comes at libertarianism from the same point that I do, consequentialism, Chicago school type stuff. And he basically uploaded a video talking about why he thought that cryptocurrency and other stuff were a bubble. Let's see, Danny channel. So I don't forget. Um, and he talked about why it was a bubble, and and I had had some conversations with him before, and tried. Was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's true or whatever. And then he uploaded his video and basically laid out the whole entire argument, and I was pretty much swayed by it. And I'm going to try to, at least the best that I can, remember what he said in that video, and basically make the argument uh, that he made. Uh, so basically, what he's talking about is sure, like yeah, bubbles in the past, most of them have been. Uh, 
uh, by the government, but to kind of define bubbles as, as being like a like a government thing is makes it almost kind of like a worthless thing to talk about most of the time. Uh, unless we're going to talk about the possibility of there being like market bubbles, like actual market bubbles. And there have been examples historically of bubbles in the past. Um, and so the, the idea is that Bitcoin and all the other cryptocurrencies gets its value not by any kind of thing that, you know, that has like some kind of end use. So gold has an end use. You can use it in electronics, jewelry, um, and other types of like that sort of thing, right? There's mm-hmm. an end cons- consumption level on it. So people will want this stuff regardless if it's a currency or not. Um, fiat money, um, as bad as it is, at least has some use value because, you know, there's this state or this, this there's a state. There's like this mafia that says, if you don't take and use our money, um, you know, and then uh, and then pay us back with that money in taxes, we're going to throw you in a cage or and if you refuse that, we'll we'll shoot you. Right. So there, there's an end consumer level with that. You have to pay your taxes with it. Whereas Bitcoin does not. Bitcoin is just, it gets its value from the fact that people are buying into it with the expectation that later on it'll be worth more. And if that stops being the case, then there won't be a, a demand for it as much as there is now. Oh, you're dropping out. Um, and because of which, let's switch over real quick and then switch on back like nothing ever happened is that better um Mm -hmm. if yep if that's the case then um so yeah we figured it out guys nope never mind (laughs) here you're gonna have you just have to suffer bad audio i'm sorry i lied (laughs) so you know if if the demand for or if the the reason why people are buying bitcoin is because they think that later it's going to be worth more uh and it just tends to stabilize then people will buy it like take their money out of it because they're not going to have a reason to invest in it anymore um since they're not going to be using it most people don't use it as currency they see it as a speculative market the bottom will fall out and then those people who are buying into it because it's stable and to use as a currency will also pull out of it as well because it's not stable enough to be a currency um and the market fluctuations (laughs) jesus christ see the government wants you to buy bitcoin and so they're using this (laughs) to stop us talking about bad things about bitcoin or just kidding so uh so once it stops you know and and because now it's just completely volatile uh, and it seems like there's no real argument or case to be made that it'll ever stabilize that it's a bubble and it's it's probably something that libertarians should avoid using as any sort of like free market argument and try to use something back going back to something that's less volatile like gold um, to to make their points, which I've been like, that's that's good. I mean, I guess you can still make the case that it's a good thing to like invest in if you just want some short term, you know, stock market game playing. Okay, I guess you can make that. It's, it's on sale now, so it'd probably be a good time to buy because <laughs> the price will probably go back up. But it's not something that could ever be used as a currency unless you come out like a cryptocurrency that's like somehow backed by silver or gold. Maybe there's um, people using the coin or whatever, but every coin that gets mined is backed by a unit of, of some commodity or something, some basket of commodities or uh, a particular commodity like a gold. Like, like say, let's say the Liberty Dollar comes back, which bad example, but bear with me. Something like Liberty Dollar comes out instead of issuing dollars or uh, what are they called? Uh, silver Tokens? certificates. I don't know. Yeah, the silver certificates. Oh, yeah. yeah, you you just use that currency, that cryptocurrency, and then you could trade that cryptocurrency and with to the 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 mint or whatever to get your silver. That could be worth something, but as of now, none of them are doing that. Damn it! There you go again. Well, it's your turn to talk anyway, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we get like three minutes, and then it starts all over again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> But that was my argument, so it cut out just in time. But you did hear the argument, though, right? Yeah, that okay. basically, that it's not, yeah. So, I, I mean, I still don't know enough about the crypto world to even begin to get into these arguments. I mean, that <laughs> kind of makes sense to me. Yeah. I, I mean, I still, I, still, I still hodl some, you know. But I've always looked at it from the perspective of I spent so much, you know, I put so much into it now almost five years ago i've already gotten all of that money back 
and I still have stuff and like I'm just still hopeful it will be used. I mean, but I can understand like I could totally see why not using it as a as the free market argument is is maybe a wise decision, especially mm-hmm. the way things have gone. So I, I'm all on board with that. Uh, like I said, I, I still think at least I mean, for the most part, it's people in our communities who end up using these things. Yeah. Uh, I'm still I'm still all for, you know, buying, selling and, and making use of it if, if you can, you know. And and we'll see what happens, but yeah, um, as as we kind of talked about before we started recording, I'm I've become so far removed from being absolute on anything that I just don't care. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just like, you know what? I'm hopeful that it'll be worth something even more one day. But if it's not, whatever, dude. (laughs) I look at it as more like, hey, if people want to donate to me with it, it's a great way to transfer money. It's actually, I guess, in some cases, depending on which one still better than using something like PayPal or uh, MoneyGram or something like that. So, you know, maybe if you're trying to transfer money to someone in another country or something like that, and it's also pretty good for like unbanked areas, you know, where you have, where people don't have access to banking. Uh, that's, it's, it's a really good use for that. But I mean, even Andre- Andreas Antonopoulos is like, oh yeah, Bitcoin is in a bubble. <laughs> I'm just like, oh yeah, I maybe I should reconsider this whole thing. Um, so yeah, I, I'm still somewhat pro crypto, but I'm not in the sense that like I think it's going to end the state or uh, <laughs> it's a viable currency or something like that. I'm I'm out of that game completely. But yeah, I I I I never thought it might be a piece to the puzzle. But what, what you did say earlier about the whole if you had a crypto backed with you know some actual commodity or or gold or silver or whatever. Like, I know that's been talked about a lot, and I've always thought, even from my limited understanding, I always thought that that would be the way to go. You know, like, it just seemed to make more sense to me, especially coming from a lot of the same people who used to make the arguments for going back to a gold back uh, fiat currency, you know, the fiat currency, taking that back to a gold back standard. You know, it was it was those same people making those arguments. I'm like, wait a minute. Why are you arguing against this now? That doesn't make any sense. (laughs) But that's not to say I'm like, I I hate everything about it or anything like blockchain technologies has lots of uses outside of currencies, quote unquote. Oh, absolutely. That are that are brilliant. There was also a lot of scam stuff, a lot of snake oil with it, too. But, you know, you have to be smart about it. Like, okay, why the fuck do I need to know, uh, you know, where all this stuff is coming from, you know, or what's some of the like examples that I've seen lately that are just like stupid? Um Oh, what was it? Uh, like the identity, like people want to like create like these identi- identi- identification stuff using blockchain. Like, no, that, that, no, don't <laughs> identification is <Yeah>. for cattle. <laughs> Stop. Um, but, uh, but something like, what was it? I, I, Walmart's actually been using blockchain technology to track like produce to know where it came from, when it was grown, how fresh it is, where it went to, if it was sold if it was discarded stuff like that i mean that's that's pretty brilliant you could use it that way um and that's not even that's not even you know it, it sure it's walmart whatever but you know if you, even if like a private u- grower or something like that was using it local chains or something like that even agorist markets or whatever that'd be great but uh yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of out of the whole like crypto is crypto is great kind of thing you know now I'm just a little bit more practical with my advocation of Bitcoin, but I'll still take Bitcoin for, for goods and services, but I just see it as like, all right, you gave me money. Great. Uh, I'm going to uh, transfer this over to USD or buy some silver with it or something. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I, I, I just, you know, I, I got into it five years ago. I, you know, I made my money back and then I just hodled a bunch for a while. And I mean, it's, it's, it's been good for me because last year when I was having issues getting some money that I was, that was, that was actually owed to me, but there was just a snafu that I couldn't actually get a hold of it at the time. You know, it came in handy for me because I was able to sell a bunch of it yeah. <laughs> for you for USDs and then I was able to pay for stuff. So, you know. And it it is it can be convenient for people like myself who do live on the road, and uh, you know I I am personally unbanked, you know I don't live in an unbanked area, but I chose to be unbanked. So for me, it becomes you know useful. But I yeah I don't I don't promote it the way I used to anymore either. I'm not I'm just like I I mean I'm willing to talk to people about it because even even my buddy who I've tr- I tried to get into it years ago and still it just kept like you know blowing me off. 
all of a sudden now he's decided to start researching and do it. He called me the other day, wanted to talk about all this this documentary he had seen and whatever. And I'm not that hardcore about it anymore. I'm not like I'm like, no, you must, you know, you got to get into the market now. It's just like, hey, listen, man, if you have a little money to play with, and you're looking to diversify in some way or form, it may not be a bad idea to throw a little bit at it, you know. Yeah. But I don't, I'm not. I'm definitely not an evangelist for it anymore either. Well, to quote the uh, the the great financial expert, um, Jizza, uh, diversify your bonds. N word. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Words to live by. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so where can they uh, look more into you? Still, are you on Twatters or just the Facebooks? Oh, did you? Did I cut out again? Yeah, I think I heard what you're saying. You okay. dropped out again. I have no idea. Where can we? <laughs> you are an interesting person. Where can we subscribe to your newsletter? <laughs> oh, my 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 newsletter. Yeah, I can I can still be found on Facebook. I can be found on Twitter. I just don't go there that often. Mm. But like I said, if anybody's if anybody's looking for me, you can usually find me there, and I try to keep give updates of where the general area where I'm heading. So, yeah, yeah. And of course, of course, I'll 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 be at the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest this year too, as nice. I always am. And I'm probably not going to make it. Thank well, they moved it. Oh, they, they they we've moved the location and the date. It is now the beginning of August, and we're actually having it on private property that is owned by one of the uh, one of my and fam up in Michigan. Nice. So that means we we won't have the lake that we used to have, but we'll be able to shoot guns. Nice. <laughs> and will James Weeks be there in his man thong? Probably. Well, well, no. See, James is actually hasn't been there the past couple of years. Oh. When there was the rip, when there was a rift a couple of years ago with the guy who was the treasurer at the time, who kind of went crazy and stole all the money. James went with him. Oh. And we haven't. Yeah, it's it was kind of disappointing because as 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 much as James can annoy, it can drive me crazy with some of his opinions and some of his ideas. He's a fun guy to hang out with in person and drink with, hmm. because you know. Well, his, I imagine his, so. His, yeah, you know his 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 laugh is infectious, and just hanging out with him and drinking with him is a good time. Yeah. So you know, as long as long as we're not talking about serious stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So I ha I have missed James, and if he happens to listen, because I actually do, I, I actually do still listen to his podcast. Yeah. Um. So James, if you happen to listen to this podcast, come back to the fest just th this year, man. We miss you. Yeah. And whatever reasons you have for not going, nice spooks nerd. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, yeah. I need to get James on here soon because uh, I I have to fight with him, and hopefully the the internet connection will start working a little bit better, but. Anyways, um, so I guess we'll wrap it up. I'm back on Patreon now. Um, next episode, I hope to do some more Amazon buying stuff. So uh, if you use that code, well, we'll start starting, I guess, as of today. Uh, we'll start counting stuff, and uh, we'll start reading off your Amazon buy stuff. So uh, buy more butt stuff so we can laugh at you. Because <laughs> no one's I been do buying miss those stuff. segments. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, so yeah, Lulbirdstock. Oh, if you want to join the Discord group, discord.lulbirds.com, uh, patreon.com slash jimjesus, uh, youtube.com forward slash mock one. I still have lots of pogs, so if you want to uh, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to mail me some pogs, uh, just go to jimjesus.com, and there's uh, somewhere up up in the, in the menu stuff, you'll find stuff for pogs, and I will mail you free pogs if you send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. By the way, did I send you any? No, I never got any pugs. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna mail you. Uh, pro you probably need some more um, bip strongs too, don't you? I'll just send yeah. You, send you a bunch I think of I stuff. broke my I think I broke my last two. <laughs> I don't even know where you could you you could probably send them to my address in Florida. I just don't know when I'll be there next. <laughs> okay. I'll find. S send me an address. But uh, yeah, yeah, my my address is a PO box. Uh, it's at the bottom of Jim Jesus. If you just send me here, it's like if you just go to jimjesus.com. At the very bottom, there's a PO box. Uh, just send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, and I'll mail you pogs. Good. Sweet. All right. Uh, anyways, so yeah, uh, worms. <laughs> worms. Worms. <laughs> We're taking it back. <laughs>